Hey besties, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Lindsay and on this channel we cover all things beauty and a whole lot of fragrance content and if my nose looks irritated or crusty it's just because a few days ago when I did do my coconut video my nose was just wrecked, okay? Uh, that night I stayed up because my nose was just pouring like a waterfall. It was really bad, uh, but I am feeling better today, but if I do sound a little congested or, you know, it just looks a little funky, just bear with that. But in today's video, we are talking about the perfumes in my collection that do have pretty good size dents, especially for the size of my collection. So if that sounds interesting, definitely keep watching. I want to say there's about 14, 15 to go through and I'm not going to harp too much on the notes. I'm more so just going to share with you what they are, cover them very briefly, talk about what I get from them and why I do believe the dents are there. I do want to mention as well, a lot of these fragrances don't have the big dents because like I've said before I've only been collecting for over a year and learning about fragrances I've been so happy with the whole experience and because I do have a pretty big collection I try to utilize everything I'm always trying new things so the dents are not gonna be super big but Anyway, I will link everything down below, starting with my clean, fresh fragrances. This one is J'adore de Oo. This fragrance smells like a clean, put-together, kempt, polished, effortlessly beautiful woman. I always say the same thing. It's literally the only way to describe it. It is fresh, it's floral, but not stuffy, very light. I almost feel like that honeysuckle in the fragrance gives it that sweetness and makes it a little bit more modern, which I really love. Makes it a little bit more approachable to someone that typically wouldn't like white florals because it evens it out, it makes it a little bit more sweet. This is not sweet, but I'm just saying it keeps it from being stuffy, too intense, headache inducing. It's a very light fragrance. I want to say this one does not contain alcohol, so you can put it in your hair and feel better about it. Very beautiful and light. I feel like a little delicate flower whenever I wear it. Very fresh, very clean linen type of vibe perfect for before bed. If you want to feel like, again, an elegant, clean, beautiful woman, put this on before bed. Best sleep ever. And because it's not a super strong scent, like I said, it's definitely softer. It's not a scent where it's going to bother you throughout the night. It's really, really nice. And again, just clean and gentle. Let me know down below if you guys also sleep with your fragrances before bed. I know some people do not like that, but I personally do. And the dent is right here, which I think is pretty good for a 3.4 fluid ounce bottle. Next is Versace Dylan Purple. This is gorgeous for when you want to smell fresh, clean out the shower. It's very fruity floral. It's musky. It really does smell so good and I love to wear it for running errands. I think the reason the dent is so big is because I do tend to wear this to the gym because I'm gonna be honest, you guys can judge me if you want to, that's fine, but because I'm already so sweaty and gross after the gym, I don't take a shower before the gym because, I mean, that would be two showers in the morning, that's a little crazy, so I wake up, I put this fragrance on, on top, of my gym set and I just feel clean fresh and put together without of course taking a shower again judge me if you want totally fine but that is just how I do it and then of course I come home shower do all the things and sometimes if I'm really wanting to smell like this scent I'll just put it on all over again but I love to wear it for every day it is such an easy reach it opens up I want to put this one on skin and you get that sparkling, juicy, yummy pear, and then comes the citruses. So you have a really bright bergamot note, there's some orange in the scent, and for me, I more so get the bergamot with the pear. You get the florals. It's a very musky, fresh, just sparkly type of scent. Kind of shampoo-y, feels very feminine to me, 
perfect for any occasion. Then Aqua de Joya from Giorgio Armani. This one is very fresh and clean as well, but this one is also very aromatic. You have this really beautiful cooling fresh mint note and that in combination with the fresh citruses and the florals and the fragrance just makes it so beautiful and what I love the most is the brown sugar that kind of balances everything out so the mint is not too minty the citruses are not cleaning product or anything like that it is just a perfect well-balanced fragrance and I do wear it sometimes for every day if I don't know what else to wear but more often than not I reach for it for the gym very pretty very put together and I recently did try the intense it was okay but I do ultimately think I prefer this one I love this very much and again my dent is down to here next is Ocean de Joya from Giorgio Armani and I love the stones on both this one I wear more year-round but this one oh my gosh for summer it's so refreshing it's very crisp it reminds me of a very beautiful take on ocean air like a very clean take on ocean air it doesn't smell very marine to me it's more so like you know how salt air you get that marine the minerals the seagrass the driftwood all of it with this one you're more so just getting the very fresh clean just ocean breeze of it all without too much of without the less sparkly parts of the ocean so i really do enjoy this i think if you're looking for something that's going to smell very refreshing it's very musky clean you do have the citruses in this fragrance as well there's some florals but to me I get the white florals, but again, they're very likable, very aquatic in the scent, and they just mix beautifully with that pear note, making it again more likable. So you can wear it year round, but because of the salt note, I typically reach for this more so in the summer and spring months. And my last clean fragrance to mention is my Glossier U. This one is very straight to the point. It's just a very clean kind of laundry fresh scent with a lot of pink pepper spice so typically i wear this one for errands or i love to also wear this one to the gym and this one does get a lot of compliments usually if someone's very close in my personal scent bubble they love the fragrance on me and i love to smell it also on other people i think the dent on this one is pretty nice it is a smaller bottle, but again, it's a nice dent for my collection. I was invited out to eat, so I'm gonna go have lunch and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back and next is Ariana Grande's Cloud. And to me, Ariana Grande Cloud is a sweet, creamy, very airy type of fragrance. I totally understand why some people find that the fragrance kind of gives that hospital vibe because it does have that plasticky sweetness. To me, it's very musky. It is very sweet from the praline. There is maybe also, I want to say there's a coconut note in here I also pick up on, and there's also a whipped cream, and I think the whipped cream kind of does give almost that plasticky sweetness in the fragrance. But there's also a really nice musk in here, like I said. You have a beautiful lavender note, keeping it a little bit more fresh. And ultimately, I think it's just a really beautiful scent in my collection for every day. I don't necessarily wear it for like specific occasions, just anytime I want to have that airy sweetness, this is what I pull for. And I'm going to keep rocking this until I get Baccarat Rouge 540. Next is Dolce & Gabbana Devotion. I love the heart. I think the packaging is so adorable and this is a scent I know I should have just bought in the bigger bottle from the first moment I got it because wow it is scrumptious if you like citrusy vanilla creamy scents this is such a good one one of my favorite perfumes in my entire collection and creamy panna cotta mixed with that bright pop of citrus and such an addictive vanilla this is so beautiful in the opening it kind of smells like a lemon meringue pie and then mixed in you have the most beautiful fresh 
orange blossom that makes it even more addictive for me. I know some people get like a Mr. Clean vibe, like a, a cleaning product from the citrus. In the opening, it is very zesty, but I truly feel like once the creaminess comes through, once the vanilla becomes more apparent, it's really not that vibe at all. And this is one, I'm honestly surprised the dent is not bigger. I think it's because when I first got it, I was so in love with it. I was not using my other fragrances as much, so I had to put it on the back burner, but this is such a good one. And if I did have a smaller collection, this would for sure still have to be in it. So I love citrus vanillas. I think that's a great one. And similar situation with Burberry Goddess. This is a 1.7 fluid ounce and the dent isn't as big, but again, it is bigger. This is beautiful. It is a more elegant, romantic... I would say very graceful take on a vanilla scent. It's not a vanilla that is childish. It's not a vanilla that is too ooey gooey sweet, anything like that. It is just one of the best lavender vanilla combinations. I love Mongerlan, I truly do, but I love the fact that this one doesn't have the licorice and to me it does have more vanilla and it's a little more wearable for me. Mongerlan I do love, but in my opinion, whenever I reach for it, I feel like I kind of have to be more Done up in a way, whereas this one again is a little more versatile to me personally. So, this one I love. I love that fresh kick from the ginger, that fresh ginger spice. I love the lavender, which just kind of lifts it a little bit. I adore this scent so much. And again, another fragrance I'm surprised it doesn't have a bigger dent, but at the same time, I'm really not because again, I had to pull back just a little bit. But this is absolutely beautiful, and I think another scent that would have to be in my collection. Next is Princess by Killian, and this is a beautiful combo of marshmallow, green tea, and ginger. It is a very unique take on a marshmallow scent, and one of my favorite, if not my favorite, in my entire collection. This is so good. It's a little green, of course, again, coming from the green tea. There's also a freshness that you get, a fresh spicy kick coming from the ginger, but it's not too spicy at all. It's just giving it personality. It's just adding to the character and the uniqueness of the scent. This is so beautiful though. It's marshmallow, but not done in a juvenile way. It is a very pretty girl perfume. And if I could only have five perfumes in my collection, this would have to be in the lineup 100%. And if I had to guess where my line was, I'd probably say about right here. Then Boardwalk Delight from Skylar. This is a beautiful coconut fragrance. It's more refreshing, a little aquatic, very fruity. And at the base, you have this really beautiful musk that I find evens it out and keeps it from being too sickly sweet. It's very, very youthful and super nostalgic for me. I feel like I'll always be a kid at heart. And this is a fragrance that is the epitome of that. I love it. And... For that reason, it does have a pretty good dent. And Eilish number one is a warm, spicy vanilla fragrance. This one is nice. It's really like that baseline spicy vanilla. It has hints of cacao and really great lasting power, I'll say, on this one. It has the most beautiful texture on the dry down as well. There's some musk and you also have this wood note, which for me, I kind of perceive it as like a cashmere wood where it's that really soft, warm, fuzzy texture that I just crave in my fragrances and mixed in with all the sweetness and the spice, it just works so nicely. This is gorgeous if you do want to feel very cozy in the colder weather. For me, I don't really use it as much in the summer and spring. I'm in Florida and it's a very strong scent and the warmth can be a little, a little cloying sometimes, but it is really pretty. Sugary, sweet, warm. You have that lovely spice. Yeah, it's a good baseline vanilla spicy scent that I feel like I'll always want to have in my collection. And this is where my dent is. So I have used this one a lot. This one was a gift. Then Kaoli Eden Juicy Apple. This is my fun, jammy, candied apple fragrance. This one also has lychee in there, raspberry bloom, sugary musk. This is a very uplifting, fun, bright, 
happy type of scent. Anytime I want my mood lifted, this is something I reach for. So that is exactly why the dent is where it is. Another scent I've definitely had to pull back on using so often to give love to my other fragrances. But this one is so wonderful. Kaoli Eden Sparkling Lychee, another uplifting, bright, girly, flirty fragrance. To me, this one is even more girly and even more flirty and very charismatic. Like, for me, I smell this, I want to go out, I want to get drinks, I want to have fun, laughs, positive energy, good times happy memories. This is a beautiful scent and they both have a candy sweetness, a sugary musk. They're both super uplifting. They both, I believe, have vanilla, but this one just feels more feminine with those powdery florals. I enjoy this scent so much and I haven't been using it as often because I have Care Fusion and for me that one is even more candy sweet and more long lasting. It does project better as well so this is really beautiful. That's also a good option but the dent in this one is bigger. Then Good Girl Blush from Carolina Herrera which is such a light feminine type of fragrance. This one reminds me of the color pink. It is super super sweet, creamy floral. This is a beautiful fragrance that I reach for a lot. I want to say, yeah, my dent. Let me get my flash. Yep, it's right here. So whenever I want to smell very feminine and girly, but not in an immature way, this is a scent I do reach for. Super easy reach for me. I don't have to think about it. Good for dates, like first dates. I think this is so pretty. Oh, it's very pretty. Powdery, sweet, creamy, girly like so feminine you guys and then my final fragrance number 15 is orientica royal amber my bottle did break so i did not use all of this to be fair probably down to here is where it would have been if it didn't break but kind of reminds you of like a fruit bowl like a fruit salad but just very fresh spicy little green very, very musky. So if that sounds good, this is great. It has a very expensive smell to it. And every single time, I mean, out of all of them, every time I reach for this perfume and wear it, I'm bound to get a compliment. It's not the most feminine out of the list for me. It does fall in like the unisex leaning feminine category in my opinion. But anytime I pull for this, I'm getting compliments. It just has that really rich, fruity, musky vibe to it. I believe it's supposed to be duping Herba Pura, which I've never smelled, but I do love that scent so, so much. My flash was still on. Don't forget to comment down below your fragrances with the biggest dents in your collections, and I will see you in the next one, besties. Bye!